Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today, Murray is playing a video game apparently. Uh, today we're going to start off in Haiti. So, let's look at the cutscene here. <clears throat> the third member of the Fiendish Five was the infamous voodoo priestess, Ms. Ruby. Born into a family of mystics, other children found her scary. Teaching herself to summon the undead provided what few friends she had. A career in crime allowed an adult Ms. Ruby to punish the world for fearing her as a child. Chief mystic for the Fiendish Five, her powers allowed them to break both the laws of man and nature at the same time. Yet despite the whirlwind success of her youth, she managed to slip into obscurity. Last known sightings claim she headed out of civilization and deep into the Haitian jungle. Sly Cooper in Vicious Voodoo. <laughs> Alright. So here we are, starting off at the Dread Swamp Path. Oh, this is a very interesting place. Especially because of these guys. Wow. What a great start. <laughs> Ugh. There we go. Now I did it right. Sorry, Sly, but this is one mission you will have to accomplish without me. You don't believe in ghosts, do you? Sure I do. My scanners have picked up verifiable paranormal activity. But that's not the problem. This swamp is oozing with disgusting mold and bacteria. Suck it up, Bentley. We got work to do. You mean the raccoon rail walk? The roots and vines around here are perfect <laughs> for that. All you gotta do is jump and hit the circle button. Especially where you see the bark has been worn away. And where it's super slick from Mickey slime and moss, you'll rail slide like a skater grinding pipe. I'm liking it. Cool. <clears throat> so now, let me just break this. Hop on up here. Break that. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. Whoop. Oh, I forgot about that spider. There we go. So, yeah, I, I think I'm just from how last episode went. Oh my god. From how last episode went, I'm thinking I'm just gonna try my best to, uh. Damn it. Oh, I can never kill those bees, whatever, or not the bees, mesquite. There's no way that just happened. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm gonna try my best to see how much I can do in one video. Why? Why? Why do you have to do that to me? No. Oh my god. Not even gonna go for that. I I don't I don't wanna just in case there's a spider. Just in case there's a spider, because I think there is one down here somewhere. Oh, he's right here. There we go. You, I know you. Oh, so weird. <laughs> Every time you hit those things, they separate into two bodies. There are two parts, the head and the body. <clears throat> are you kidding me? Well... I should probably get this first, just in case. So I don't think I. <laughs> How? How do I screw that up so tremendously? 
Oh my god. Alright. This is a terrible start to the video. Not gonna lie. Jeez. Oh, hello there. I don't know your name. If I did, I'd call you it. to kill you. I need to kill you. If only I could break it. Hey there, you. Oh my god, where are they going? Oh my god. I, uh, I almost... Okay, cool. Now I can go up here. Er, no, wait, duh, I'm stupid. I have to destroy all the candles. Once the candle's down, there we go. Mojo Force Field is down. Now stop talking so I can get the key and get the hell out of here. <clears throat> yeah. Think. Woo. The swamp's dark center. Okay. My paranormal scanner is maxing out on that structure. A reading like that could only be coming off Ms. Ruby herself. I think you're right, Sly. If you want to crack at Ms. Ruby, you're going to have to find a way inside that skull temple. Mm-hmm. And I know just the place. Maybe. Maybe I know just the place. I don't know for certain. Or maybe I do know for certain. Oh my god. Never realized how annoying of a voice she had. I'm just kidding. Um, because obviously that is a real person that voiced her. Um, no, I don't, I don't think the voice is terrible. I do think that Miss Ruby is a pretty interesting character, though. Maybe she's trying to keep something in. Ah, trying to keep something in. Perhaps a gigantic... Well... I'll let the rest of you see for yourself. <clears throat> we This way. Because I want the things. Boink. 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 Oh my god. I had to go back for it. That's just how it goes for me. 
My god, I didn't know there were so many spiders all in one spot. Excuse me. I'd like that, please. Okay. Get out of here. Okay. Excuse me? What was that? What? What? <laughs> All I did was try to jump from the thing. I didn't even try to hit the enemy. There. I was actually trying to go around him. Something huge. I think it's time to see what this is. Oh. Matter of fact, I think this is also the time where I need to be really fast, because otherwise I'm going to screw myself over. So, uh, ah, here we go. Oh boy. Come on! Okay, I might have just screwed myself over now. Yep! That I did! My hat was not on my head. <laughs> <coughs> okay. Giant snake time. I'm surprised there's no, like, chase music here. Oh, come on! I was even pressing the button. Ah. Okay. Whatever. I guess I just gotta spam the button every time I do it. Okay. This is much better of a run. Please leave. Away with ye. Ye giant floating snake. <clears throat> I completely forgot about the safe. I'll do it later. I'll do it later. Um, okay, so I don't think there's too many other places I can go right now. There's the one above me, and then there's this one right here, which... Kill. Oh, Piranha Lake. Oh, no, I hate this place. Oh, this is on par with the treasure chest crab one. Oh.
Oh, God. Run him down! You know what? Screw it. Come here! Okay. Come here. All of you. Hell yeah. There's one more. One. Two. Might as well get a few while I'm here. Couldn't hurt. What the hell? Come here. Come on. Okay. Uh, this one. This one. This one, this one, this one. Come on. I've got two more. Okay, one. Oh, I've never done that on my first try before. Yeah. Get in there. <laughs> okay, there's one other place in this uh, section of the game that's really annoying. Oh my god. Alright. Um, there's one with, like, chickens. I'm not gonna explain it because it's 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 funnier to see when it happens, but it, it's annoying. I will say that it's it's very annoying. Probably one of the most annoying parts of this game. Like I don't think there is another thing in this game that I despise more than the chicken uh, mission. A grave undertaking. Oh, this is the one with the ghosts. Yeah. Ghosts. Sly, you'd better be on your guard here. Oh yeah. This place is haunted big time. For example, ghosts. I guess I just have to keep swinging my my cane. Goof. Oh. Flame. Another flame. Another flame. Okay. Yoink. Oh my god. I'm curious. How many are around the back? Two, three, four. Love it. <clears throat> Free life. I'll take it. Oh my god. Did not mean to trigger the alarm like that, but hey, at least I can go take care of it. Oh wait, what am I doing? Oh. 
boink. <clears throat> Alarm has been disabled. Okay. There. 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 Come here, you stupid swamp monster. God, I hate how I can never hit those things. I think I've decided that I'm just going to get some of the clues. Honestly, I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm... Really? I don't know what my plan is. Honestly, for these. I don't... I don't really see a purpose in... I love how my blood in this game is just like a weird purplish color. Um... Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. I don't see a purpose in actually getting anything. The only thing that I can think of is the, the ability to see. Oh, okay. The only thing I can think of is the ability to see names of enemies. But even then, that's useless. I mean, you know, what's the point other than just comedic purposes? And it's not worth the time, I don't think. Alrighty. So let's go and uh, open up this gate here. Take this. Oh, hello again. Nice to see you again. Thanks for that. Very much appreciate it. Cool. Well, there's that. That door is going to be forever open until I can kill the things that are keeping it open. Or keeping it closed, I mean. Looks like this is some kind of giant voodoo egg beater to stir up that unsanitary mess. If I can unlock the cauldron's lid, I might be able to thrash their production and build up enough steam pressure to get launched up to Ruby's skull temple. Okay, sounds like we've got a plan. To get around that thing, try moving in the shadows made by the masks, so that the guards won't see you. Or kill the guards. You know, that'd be another thing. But, you know. Alright. Descent into danger. Let's see what this one is. Oh, is this the one with the flaming head skull, guys? Yeah. Do me a favor and look. Okay, stop looking. Okay, you can look again. Ah, yep, yeah, this is the one with the flaming head guy. They're so angry until you get right up next to them and then they cower in fear. Okay. Time to rush to the end. Hello there. I hates everything. You know, I think this is the only chapter in this entire game that I struggle to hit any of the enemies. I don't know why, it's just, it feels like the hitboxes are so weird on everything. And their placement is just so... Like, look at this, I wasn't even able to hit nothing. You'll never see me. I am the John Cena of this universe. At least, I think I am. I'm surprised you didn't get involved. <laughs> I 
Oh, you know my name. Crap, I was supposed to go back over here and get the... What's up, dude? get all the candles destroyed just because I can I have no other reason there's the safe <laughs> which means I should be nearing the end yeah the end descent into danger now the real question is sly how the hell do you get out because you don't show that <laughs> Okay, just gotta keep on moving. I'm going this way now. Bye. See you later. Um. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. I remember Ghastly Voyage. Oh boy. Oh, and of course it's inverted controls. <laughs> Yeah, can I invert my controls, please? Oh. Uh, God. Of course. Of course, I have nothing I can do about it. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay. I guess. We. You! I know you! I wish I could actually shoot you! There we go. God, this is so weird having to push down to shoot forward. I don't like that. At all. Ugh. Okay. Oh, I can only shoot when I get real close? Okay. That's interesting. Alright. Come on. There we go. Thanks for all that. Woo. According to my headstone generators. Headstone generators. Wow! Oh my god. There. Oh my god, don't get too close! Okay, there's one taken down. Two and three. Huh. Uh, I did 
did it. It's done. All right. So, trying to think here. One, two, three. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven? Why are there seven? I don't remember there being seven. Unless there's one I'm missing. Oh, I'm confused now. There's that one there. But I... Get rid of those quick. <clears throat> I think all I have left is the chicken one. Honestly, because I, I don't... I can't think of anything else. Oh. All right. What? He's promised us a key if you can whack 50 chickens. I guess he needs them to make a big pot of gumbo, but he's scared of the bob toad roosters. Be careful or they'll blow you to bits. Think you can do it? The bomb toten roosters. They just come out of nowhere. That's why I don't like them. My God. I will never be a fan of those roosters. I want them gone. I want them all gone. My god, my god, my god, my god. No! No! Hit each other, quick! Hit each other! There! Oh my god. Come on, come on. This shouldn't be so difficult. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Damn it. Oh. Of course. Yep. Uh, you have to hit 50 chickens in a minute and 30 seconds, and it is so annoying when you have those roosters to worry about. And the fact that the chickens run away from you. Honestly, I can take it to my adva advantage when they're all bundled up like that in a corner. All I have to do is just wait for the roosters to spawn lead them away, and then I never have to worry about getting close again. There we go. Now I just get these quick. Okay. Oh! <laughs> My God. Oh, thank God. Come here, you stupid chickens. Oh, <laughs> this is so impossible. No, 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 no. Yes! Oh, I hate that level. I hate it. Absolutely hate it. Now you know why. <laughs> uh. I can't think of any other levels that I might be missing, so I'm just going to see if this is it. 
Yep. That is exactly what it was. Ooh. Wee. All the way up. Okay, so that wasn't bad at all. All right. Wait, I forgot how her fight goes. This sucks too. It's a music-based one, a rhythm-based boss. The only one in the entirety of the Sly Trilogy. Why do you think that is? <laughs> it's actually pretty clever though, I will say that much. Excuse me? What did I just do? Because that, I'm pretty sure, was exactly what you wanted me to do. Home. Home. Uh, uh. I no, you son of a...
so happy to be done with that. Ms. Ruby's section of the Thievius Raccoonus held notes for my pioneering ancestor, Slight in Common. His invisibility technique allowed him to steal from corrupt pharaohs and greedy noblemen. Right on schedule, Inspector Fox's arrival cued my exit. The production of zombies, made illegal in the World Peace Accord of 71, earned Ms. Ruby a life sentence behind bars. While the gang and I enjoyed a few weeks in the tropical sunshine, working on our tans in preparation for our next caper. All right, so that is the episode for Ms. Ruby's Lair. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, this was probably the most annoying and difficult section of the entire game. So now that this is done and over with, I don't really have much else to do. Uh, so I just got two more areas and that'll probably be two more videos. So I will see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.